A few years ago, this plant was headed to bankruptcy and possibly oblivion. Now it's adding new jobs, overtime, and Saturday shifts. Two years out of bankruptcy, General Motors has turned the corner, the greatest corporate turnaround of the decade. GM is once again the world's biggest car maker thanks to deep cuts, even the United Auto Workers Union accepted. And that, analysts say, is what needs to happen now in Europe. Well, the UAW had a near-death experience. We kind of steered into the abyss and, and came up with a way out. Um, and, you know, Europe has to do the same, you know, sooner or later. You know, here in the U.S., you know, we're a little more insensitive to, you know, displacement of labor. It happens all the time. As sales soar in North America, GM Europe is redlining. It hasn't turned a profit in a dozen years, stalled by Europe's lagging economy, an Opel subsidiary, and an excess of plants. The company's latest European plan calls for 23 new Opel models, but no cuts. Labor deals prevent the company from closing plants for at least two years. Europe might be putting the brakes on GM's acceleration, but company officials say North American sales are expected to keep gradually improving, and in the coming years, they expect new markets to really take off. You'll see a lot of focus of the international car companies in the U.S. Then you go to China, which is still, you know, really in the takeoff stage of vehicle sale. So a lot of investment going into China. More recently, you're seeing investment going to Russia, Brazil, and India. So these large emerging markets are where the future growth is. At home in North America, GM's revival has boosted the economy in the Motor City, in Michigan, and in neighboring states like Ohio, where unemployment is down largely because its factories are making parts for Detroit. That's good news for the economy and for President Obama. We got the industry to retool and restructure. He and oversaw the auto industry bailout and need states like Michigan and Ohio to be reelected. GM hopes one day Europe will rebound and start buying cars again. I can't imagine that large economies like Italy and Spain will continue to flounder. You know, they will get their houses in order. Until then, Europe remains the foot on the brake at GM. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Detroit.